In remembrance of those who have fallen, Pikeville's First Responders Day will take place this Saturday, September 11th at 11 a.m. Thursday, we spoke with Public Information Officer Tony Kahn about the event and the importance of officers within the community. I think it's very important. Like I said, we got to keep we got to keep their memory alive. A, a hero remembered is never forgotten, and we got to make sure that that the generation that didn't wouldn't around at that time, like my son, knows what sacrifice these guys made and these these ladies and gentlemen made. Uh, they didn't think twice, and you know they're they're heroes, and we want to make sure that that's what uh, we keep their memory alive, and and we want this generation to know that, you know that's a that's a that's a big thing. Uh, these people serve us above self, and that means that hey, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my job, and I'm gonna I'm gonna rescue you if it means I'm gonna lose my life, and that's that's they they need to know that. As part of First Responders Day, local leaders will join in front of the Pikeville Police Department for a moment of prayer. Later, Khan shared his memory of 9/11. Well, I remember the day well. I remember what I was doing. Uh, I had uh, I had worked night shift, and. Uh, I had seen the, I didn't see the first plane strike, the, one of the towers, but I was able to watch the news and watch the second plane hit. And I remember getting the call from the, our chief at the time, I worked at another department, and he told us all, go fill your cars, cars up with the gas and fill the pool cars up with the gas and meet, meet me at the police station. So we had a big meeting, we were watching it on the news just like everybody else. Um, it's a big community. It's 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 a tight knit community. Police officers and firemen, of course, I always said that whether we lose officer here or they lose officer in uh, California or New York or whatever, it, the country loses the officer. Such as the department's loss of Scotty Hamilton in 2018, Khan says it's important to keep the memory alive. If it hadn't been for them, the loss of life, the 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 body count, the loss of life would have been much greater. But they evacuated lots of people, a lot of people from those places. Of course. Uh, there was whole precincts that lost everybody, and so you know, it's 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 terrible. It's a terrible loss for for us. And I still remember, like I, said, I still remember the day it happened. I remember what I was doing, uh, and it was it was it's a terrible terrible thing. But as long as we keep it alive and keep it remembering what what they sacrificed their lives for, then they're not going to be forgotten. So. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.